and every single Barbadian who's involved in this project should be ashamed of themselves. Not because we don't need the business, because we do. And we are open to hotels being built. But all inclusive hotels are not are not what the island needs. And shame on you all. Accepted fact in Barbados, we've got businesses in Fontabelle, we've got businesses in Hill Street, and we have businesses in Bay Street. And we know that when the sewage is not cleaned properly, what order comes out to everybody. Right now, the government of Barbados, or whoever it is, forget about them too, is saying that most of our pipes in Barbados are very old, 40, 50 years old. When you have 500 people, 1,000 people using water constantly, and your plant, you haven't told us what's the size of the plant you're putting up, where is it going? All you showed us over there, the connection to the sewage, and it will be connected. I don't know the size of your pipe, whether it's half inch, quarter inch, two inch, four inch, how it's going to pass through. Are you going to take extra water and put it in the sea? And is it going to be flowing there? I don't know, because all those were not shown to us on terms of all of Unless it's not monitored properly, it'll be a curse for a lot of Barbadians for the development they want to do for the city. All right. Okay. We suffered through the installation of the Bridgetown Sewage Project in December. Okay. Dug it up, and we had to live through that in our peak season. Right. We suffered through Bartel digging up. Bay Street in front of our store in the second week of December and live for that into January. Now I will not like to see that this project comes along and when we have our peak season that the street is torn up and that we don't have proper traffic flow and the street is clean and that we can't conduct our business like usual. Okay, This has happened to us twice in the past. I would also like to point out tonight that there's a general understanding of the merchants in Bridgetown that no construction work with scaffolding or anything like that occur in Bridgetown for the month of December. So when I was working a year and a half ago at Columbia on the roof, the scaffold came down at the end of um, November and it went back up on this in, in January and we could not do any work. There's a general and this mutual agreement around the business community in town that we do not operate in December to disrupt our Christmas. Okay, and this is important to us 